Uh, how's everybody doing today? Good. Good. Well, today I'm going to uh, present to you the California budget. And I'm going to explain, after hearing my speech, you're going to understand what the budget actually is. Uh, it's important for you, uh, important as well as crucial for you to understand what the, uh, what the budget actually states. In order, uh, it's important for, for you to understand the budget uh, financially as well uh, as, well as uh, family life because it will help you understand how taxes actually affect you guys uh, personally as well as the overall community. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and start off by explaining what a budget actually is. The budget has two criteria in order to be defined as a budget. It's going to be uh, the expenditures and the resources available. So once you understand these two components of what a budget actually is, you'll be able to understand what, what message uh, the statement is actually trying to communicate to you. So uh, the resource availability is actually the amount of resources available in the fund, and the expenditures is actually going to be the, the amount of uh, revenue that's actually being uh, placed out from the institution or whatever or uh, the entity that that uh, where that mu uh, that message is being communicated or in this case it's going to be the California state budget. So with that said, it's going to bring out it's going to bring me to the three main points. It's going to help me uh, explain to you what the California budget actually is. And the, uh, the California budget actually is a financial statement of the overall uh, status of the state financially. So I'm going, to, I'm going to use three main points in order to explain to you uh, and help you understand the budget. First of all, I'm going to explain to you the past budgets. Past budgets are important because uh, in order to understand the present state of the budget, you need to understand uh, past budgets. The past budget is going to explain to you the actual state of a certain time of the financial state of the California. So on this first overhead projection, I'm going to... Uh, you're going to see that the financial state of the California budget, this is actually for the fiscal year 12-13. Uh, this is not with the, with, the, with the balanced budget. This is just uh, an example for you in order to understand the figures. Uh, Here is going to be the total expenditures. This is the amount of money that's actually being used. Uh, and here is going to be what it comes out to be without the balanced budget. So as you can see, it's about uh, a $9 billion deficit. Uh, you can go ahead and turn off the, the slide, thank you. It's going to be a $9 billion deficit that the state of California faces. So with this past budget, uh, as shown up on, on the overhead, it just gives a brief example of the problems that the state of California has faced. This is important uh, to everybody to understand because understanding this will help you understand how the allocation of resources is actually dealt with. So understanding the past budget uh, will help you understand the present state of the budget because of <laughs> the need that uh, the past budget has always had to be, uh, be rolled over because of the lack of efficiency of the overall government. Uh, the governor that's actually in office now plans on balancing the budget through, uh, through tax hikes, uh, uh, actually insurance policies and this is information gathered through the uh, public domain website which is uh, www.egov.com which is a, a public domain and available to the overall community or to anybody who like, uh, would like to access that information. Uh, like I said, the budget is actually in deficit $9 billion. The, the fiscal year ends in January. January of or I mean June, excuse me, in June, uh, June 5. Unlike the national government or the national budget, which ends in October, the, the state budget actually ends in June, and it's actually fairly interesting because, like I said, there's a $9.1 billion deficit. The governor plans on raising taxes through insurance policies, as well as governmental cuts, 43 to his own board members, uh, which will help shore up a $10 billion deficit. This brings me to my third point. My third point being how the, the budget actually affects the resource allocations that uh, affect the community college. In order to understand how the allocation of resources affects the community college fund or the community college overall, you have to understand the, the size of the community college 
uh, basically the community college is uh, 71 institutions, uh, 112 campuses, and serves 2.6 million students throughout the whole state. So with that in mind, you have to understand that the size of the actual community college that the fund serves. Uh, the community college fund has lost about $236 million, $236 million in the past four years. The past four years, the, the state has faced uh, cuts. Uh, an example on, in an article on the Daily Beast, uh, which stated that in, in, uh, in tuition, or tuition for community colleges has gone over $13,000. That's an all-time high uh, for a university. Uh, for a uni uh, specific university English class, there has been uh, a class that got, has gone from 20 to 40 students. All this because of the lack of funds available to, to the overall college fund. With that said, uh, the, the, the governor, uh, Jerry Brown, actually has a plan to balance the budget. He plans on balancing the budget by, like I said, raising taxes on insurance policies, raising the tax by 0.25%. Uh, from a 7.25 to a 7.75 that would help shore up a, a 9.1 billion dollar deficit for the overall state. Uh, I I'd like to iterate uh, that it's important for you to understand that this is just an assumption, assumption that tax revenue dollars will be raised and for the next two years the college fund will be increased by 4% every year. 4% every year, but this is, you got to understand, an assumption that the tax dollars will be raised and help bring revenue into the college fund. With that in mind, it's going gonna, it's gonna to help you allocate your resources better, understanding the budget is going to help you make better decisions for your overall society. Not only will it help you personally, but it will help you help your society and the students that uh, actually attend the community college have the right classes and the right resources available in order to become good students. So basically, in my speech, I have presented to you uh, the California budget, the California budget, which is basically in deficit $9.1 billion, but by the implementation of Jerry Brown's tax hikes, uh, it should be into a surplus if everything goes as planned. So basically, with three main points, I have explained to you this, uh, the current standing of the California budget. I have taught you how important it is for you to understand uh, what the budget deficit actually means, how it affects you, and as well as the community. So if you guys have any questions, uh, you can feel free to go ahead and ask. But other than that, thank you very much for your time.